Okay, hello everyone today. Um, what was that? Hello everyone today. How are you today? Uh, so it's a bit dark. The sun's beaming into my face and I can't see. So I've got okay, to pull the curtain across. I've got this weird blackness down here. Anyway, a um, little bit annoyed. Wanted to uh, start a new book today. Uh, ordered it, hoping to go and do a click and collect and pick it up, but I haven't, I haven't processed it. I don't know what's going on with the bookshop. I don't know if they actually open. That's probably what the problem is. So anyway, uh, I will get it ordered. It might have to be Monday uh, when we get it. So what I'll do is just nothing wrong with reading some picture books, is there? So I've chosen two um, picture books. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. Maybe I should. Oh, there you go. I can do it that way. Okay, I hope you can see that because it's backwards. It will be normal back. Yeah, of course it will. Okay, right. Who flung dung? Uh, love this book. Okay. Uh, a bit naughty. I'm going to kind of move over here a bit. There we go. Right, so who flung dung? All right. So, one pleasant day, Furley, the monkey, was minding his own business when... Yeah, can you see him minding his own business? Who flung dung? Furley said, in need of a towel. No one was around to confess, so he went to investigate. And there he is. See? That sun's getting closer around, isn't it? Got to his head. <laughs> After a short while, he saw an elephant and a rhinoceros. Who flung dung? Furley yelled accusingly. Don't look at us! said the elephant. I'd sooner trample you to dust than do such a filthy thing. Well, I'd, soon run at, I'd sooner run at you and prod you with my nose, said Rhinoceros. Now, be on your way. And there they are. Farley went on his way. He soon bumped into Python and Crocodile. Hey, Flang Dung! Furley screeched at the both of them. There we are, going on his way. Don't be ridiculous, said the python. Even if I could, I wouldn't do such a sorry thing. I'd sooner squeeze you tight and swallow you whole. And I'd sooner snap at you up and scoff you down, said the crocodile. Now be on your way. Furley pushed on in search of the culprit. And there they are. There's the crocodile. Can you see him there? And there's a the python. And there's Farley. Still trying to find the culprit. Before long, he saw a lion. Who hey, flung dung? Furley demanded to know. Oh, silly monkey, said Lion. Why, well, I'd sooner hunt you down and gobble you up than do such a horrible thing. Be on your way. And there he is. Proud lion. Just then he saw Vulture and her friends. Who flung dung? Farley yelled accusingly. Don't be vulgar, said the vulture. We'd sooner pick your bones and do such a nasty thing. Now on your way! Ghastly, she was saying. There you are. There's the vultures. Look at that one's got an eyeball. <laughs> nice. On Farley went. Who flung down? He cried again and again. Who flung down? Who flung down? Getting a bit beside himself. Who flung down? 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 Just then he heard something in the tree. It sounded like giggling. It was his little brother, Charlie, looking awfully suspicious. <gasps> you flung down, Furley bellowed knowingly. That's right, said Charlie. And what are you going to do about it? What do you think he's going to do? 
Can you see that? Trying to get it out of the light. Oh, right over him. You want that one? Okay. Penguin. Love this one. Penguin. I think this is an online bit, this one. Penguin by Polly Dumber. Ben ripped open his present. Inside was a penguin. Hello, penguin, said Ben. What shall we play, said Ben. Penguin said nothing. Can't you talk, said Ben. Penguin said nothing. Penguin tickled Penguin. Penguin didn't laugh. Penguin pulled a funny face at Penguin. Ah! Penguin didn't laugh. Ben put on a happy hat and sang a silly song. La 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 la. Do, do, do. Did a dizzy dance. Da, ba, boo, boo, boo. Penguin said nothing. Doing all these little things. Will you talk to me if I stand on my head? Said Penguin. Penguin didn't say a word. So Ben prodded Penguin and blew <laughs> raspberries at Penguin. Penguin said nothing. Ben made fun of Penguin. I'm a penguin. And imitated Penguin. <laughs> penguin said nothing. Ben ignored Penguin. Penguin ignored Ben. Ignoring each other. So Ben fired Penguin into outer space. Penguin came back down to Earth without a word. Boop. Ben tried to feed Penguin to a passing lion. Penguin said nothing. Lion didn't want to eat a penguin. Hello. <laughs> ben got upset. <laughs> penguin said nothing. Say something! <gasps> Lion ate Ben for being too noisy. That's what happens. Be too noisy. You get eaten by lions. It's the law. Poor Ben. That's it. He's gone. Where is he? <gasps> Penguin bit lion. Very hard on the nose. <clears throat> oh, said Pet Lion. Wow, said Ben. And Penguin said, <gasps> I am it was a present and I knew it was standing there and then you bit on a silly hat and then you did got all really angry and then the lion ate you and I bit him on the nose all you and I was on the blah, 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 and uh, Everything. I love you. There you go. Did you enjoy that? There you go. The end. Penguin. Love that book. Cool. There you go. Two books for you. Might get some more picture books tomorrow. I, if I get the book, I might have the book. I have that tomorrow. Okay. Anyway. Goodbye.